Mosaic Souls. This is Rachel Alexander, artist and Mosaic Soul mentor. And I wanted to come on here and just kind of talk about certain things that I've been traversing and journeying through and also my intention moving forward with this channel for the next year or so. So I was thinking a lot as I, I just woke up, just, but I was thinking a lot of uh, as I was sort of in this dream state before, you know, you officially wake up or whatever. Um, I was thinking a lot about just where I'm at in my life and just sort of reflecting and where I want to move towards in my life. And when I was thinking about, you know, myself earlier this year, I remember going through this this moment of feeling like very um, dissatisfied, I think. I had moments of, you know, lots of dissatisfaction that was arising with me within me earlier this year. And that dissatisfaction was just because I realized that I, at the age that I'm at, um, I'm in my 30s, um, that I hadn't quite technically accomplished a lot on the physical human plane, right? And so a lot of, you know, I was comparing myself sort of to my peers and people that, you know, I went to high school with and where they're at now and my friends, you know, and where they're at now, what they're accomplishing and stuff like that. And so I went through this period of little dissatisfaction. It wasn't, it didn't last too long, but what I was recognizing and sort of what my higher self was sort of showing me um, a lot of what I had accomplished in my life was very much so in my inner world. And so my inner world, I had mastered a lot of what people look to master, like in when they hit their 50s and 60s and 70s. I had mastered a lot of that, you know, which is inner peace, that sense of peace beyond all understanding, the sense of feeling whole without having a penny to my name, right? Or, you know, a lot of different things that I had mastered in my inner world where Things didn't shake me, people didn't disturb me, um, healthy communication, a lot of just sort of internal world sort of things, being being around people with denser frequencies with who are um, quote unquote unconscious or just a lower vibration and not having them affect me and just a lot of inner world stuff I had become a master at. Like my spiritual world was on lock, right? That was literally what I accomplished a lot in my 20s and in my early 30s and so you know having come to this stage in my life and then sort of looking at my outer world and being like I feel like my outer world isn't quite a reflection of all of that I had accomplished in my inner world and so I sort of began this quest to start to you know allow my inner world to become a reflect my outer world to become a reflection of my inner world and I kind of started in 2021 2020 when I became certified as a 2021 I think yeah as a, a life coach and stuff like that and I got certified and it was just sort of this forward momentum and then I kind of backpedaled <laughs> a little um by getting back into a relationship and then losing myself a little bit more again and then refinding myself after getting out of that relationship so it's been this sort of like ebb and flow journey you know and so the purpose of this video is that I want to kind of document more so moving forward this sort of outward movement of building up my outer world, right? Because my inner world is so rich and I'm so in tune with my higher self, my divine team, my spiritual self. And that's always going to be continuously developing my intuition that never ceases to uh, exist. But I feel like this next level of Rachel... <laughs> Rachel 3.0, as I labeled her years ago, who wants to manifest and be birthed into this world is going to incorporate a lot more masculine energy, a lot more outer world behaviors and fixing things, you know, not fixing, but like moving into energetic spaces where it in involves a lot of me shifting my behaviors and habits and things like that to manifest the version of myself that I want to experience while I'm on this planet and while I'm alive. So, you know, as someone who's mastered a lot of my inner world, and for those of you who are like, what do you mean by your inner world? I mean, my thoughts, my feelings, my emotions, how I feel on a day-to-day -day basis, my sense of peace, my sense of wholeness, 
like I've mastered that to a very high degree that literally if I lost everything tomorrow I would totally be okay like you know they're uh, they're part of me my human self would be devastated but I I know on an internal world that my well-being isn't really sourced from my out outer world right so even though earlier this year I was experiencing a, a level of dissatisfaction I immediately returned back to my sense of soul my sense of self my sense because I source my sense of self from my soul I source my sense of well-being from my inner being from the infinite version of me that exists through this human fleshly suit so I don't really sense my sense source my sense of self from external factors from external accolades now this outward movement right what is propelling me to do that well there's there's a curiosity right there's a curiosity and excitement and passion for wanting to actualize myself in human form right and i feel like that's one of the reasons why we came here on the planet you know one of the reasons why we incarnated on the planet is to actualize a lot of our divine human our divine potential in in human form right there's a beauty in becoming something and being a version of yourself that you weren't before right there's beauty and artwork there's beauty and creation right and so becoming different versions of myself whether you know the various different labels i'm going to be carrying artist you know singer songwriter composer filmmaker fashion designer you know all these different things dancer choreographer things like that like these are different labels or different manifestations of my divinity while in human form you know and that fascinates me right now you know like it fascinates me to be able to create something from nothing you know and to actualize my potential and actualize being you know a living breathing version of my divinity you know and um going with the flow and experiencing different aspects and versions of myself you know <laughs> just showing you some of my artwork that i've been dabbling with and you know things of that nature that i've been moving through or whatever like just being more creative and sharing my gifts and actualizations with the world i'm looking forward to mastering my outer world as well right letting my outer world become a reflection of my inner world mastery right so even though i don't necessarily need anything outside of me in order to feel whole i'm very aware of that i'm going to have fun on this playground so moving forward i'm going to be incorporating a lot more masculine energy you know of habit change and behavioral change and things like that and systems creating systems and ways of being on the planet that allowed me to manifest more of my creative potential right I have so many creative ideas so many things that I receive on a weekly basis on a day-to-day -day basis I'm always receiving divine downloads so many ideas and things that I want to start to actualize while I'm on this planet and it's not because I need to or I have to in order to be happy or I need to in order to feel like I'm worthy or whatever. It's literally because it just feels freaking fun to do, you know? <laughs> like, it feels fun to receive a divine download of a song and then spend, you know, a few hours in the studio busting out the tune and coming up with the, the different parts to make the song sound good. It feels fun to, you know, have a divine download for a piece of art that I want to create and all of a sudden this idea that was literally flashed in my mind all of a sudden it's like actualized on a piece of paper you know or you know artwork and just this idea or moving my body and all of a sudden I have this whole choreographed piece of dance you know like I want to start actualizing my potential in human form and that also I also want to document me doing that in the form of my various businesses so the businesses that I'm most excited about is just Divine Earth School and rachelalexander.com so me as an artist and then me as a mosaic soul mentor right so those aspects of myself i'm going to be moving forward with um actualizing more of myself and i want to really stick with it you know for at least a year or two a year or two goes by like this we're already at the end of 2023 and i'm already moving into um you know moving into a whole nother year you know which time is so relevant but 
and I've done so much healing work around like time and this idea of being behind or all this other stuff that's totally irrelevant but what I am excited about is just actualizing more of my potential while I'm in human form you know and um committing to my dreams and divine downloads that I've received over the years you know and moving more into that now I don't want to say I haven't manifested anything in my outer world I have you know like I'm a homeowner I own my own home outright um you know I own my own car like I I've manifested a lot you know I have manifested things so I don't want to diminish my manifestation capabilities as far as my outer world reflecting my inner world I do have a space currently where I can have the spaciousness to be creative and I have manifested you know being single without kids and stuff like that and that's a beautiful manifestation because now I have the spaciousness to like explore these different passions <laughs> without any like ties or bondage or anything like that and there's any, nothing wrong with people who chose that path but you know I'm like I'm excited that I chose this one because this is what my soul is here for so yeah I just wanted to share like my insights and like you know where I've kind of been internally and mentally and I just came back this morning or la yeah earlier this morning at like four o'clock in the morning um from a little impromptu trip that I took with my mom and her partner or whatever and it was really cool to meet um, that extended family and just, you know, tuning in and stuff like that. So I, I definitely want to start documenting. I don't think I want to do vlog style per se on this channel. I think more so what I like doing is sort of like the video. I'll link it above or below where I did, you know, more sort of like documentary type videos of like my insights on life and stuff like that. Other video I talk about, um, navigating through self-doubt more videos like that I want to do more videos like that on this channel and um other creative ideas that I have for this channel that I haven't really been executing on I want to start executing on and showing up more consistently and building up my portfolio my YouTube portfolio or my video portfolio of just creative ideas that I receive and um actualizing that and getting more into filmmaking as well so that excites me as well i love filmmaking and storytelling and and that and that nature so yeah the journey continues hope you guys are having a wonderful fall it's still i guess it's still fall because we haven't hit winter the winter solstice yet so i guess you have one i hope you guys are having a wonderful fall um and enjoying your holidays and connecting with others and all that good stuff and um Another update I didn't mention is I, I definitely, I finished my song called Forgiveness and I definitely want to actualize that. Like I, I laid down the basics in my DAW, my DAW. <laughs> and so I definitely want to produce that and actualize that because I had like a little bit of a vision yesterday of a music video that I would love to do for it. So um, that song, my own song <laughs> that I was prompted to write was actually very healing and helped me open some doors and stuff like that within my own life, you know, and helped me open my heart and be more compassionate and loving towards uh, the narcissistic personalities in my life <laughs> and um, enjoy that process of, you know, being more open hearted and, and, um, but not necessarily, you know, whatever, and just, just open hearted and, and less uh, of a need to feel like I need to be on guard or, or, any of that just recognizing excuse me people for who they are and where they're at and not needing them to be anything other than who they are <laughs> and um allowing people to be themselves without needing to be involved in their world per se so yeah um that song really helped and he helped heal me so i'm excited to release it because i think it will help and heal a lot of other people too and even if it does even if it just hurt you know helps some one person that's all it really really matters but it really i really resonated with it i kept listening to it over and over and over yesterday um but yeah so i'm excited about actualizing more of my creative potential in human form and that's really going to be more so the focus moving forward on this channel i probably will still do vlogs i guess like this where it was just me talking head to the camera um doing vlogs that incorporate like a lot more b-roll and all that other stuff doesn't really excite me unless it's like the documentary style type stuff like i shared in the other video that i did before a couple months ago so 
yeah, that's going to be my intention moving forward on this channel. And I guess I just wanted to share that's what I'm going to be doing. And I wanted to come on here, post this live, and um, share this while I'm remembering what I'm wanting to share. So I will see you guys when I see you next, most likely next week, as I'm going to be implementing new habits and rituals to start creating more content consistently. And uh, yeah, you guys have a wonderful rest of your day. Peace, love, and light.